Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Sam and Max. This will be episode number four? Yeah, I want to say four. So, um, in the previous one we went to a few places. The, um, we went to the Gator Golf Place. We found the clue that took us over to the Vortex, the Mystery Vortex, where we found Shavul, who wasn't at this Twine Place, but he did mention that he was... He can't get contact with Bruno because he can't get to his um, his mood straight. So we put together earlier a hand on top of this uh, golf ball retriever and a magnet, which together we should be able to stick this in here and pull his mood ring out. Oh yeah. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. So now, with his mood ring, we should be able to... It's an empty snow globe without a stopper. Uh, drop this in here. There we go. I wanted to look at it. I must be happy. Anyway. So we're going to go ahead and head on to... Excuse me. We take the Lord. Go to the largest. I can talk today. We're gonna head back to the mystery spot and bring him his mood ring so we can get some information on where to go next. He can't seem to get. He just knows that they're in trouble, and that's it. And he knows. This. And other than that, we've got to figure out what we can do to help. Hopefully the door still works the same. I checked this door out on my way out on the after the last one and it was just another forest of shoe trees. But now we can bring him what he needs. You're back. And we're bigger than a bread box. Three bread boxes even. What do you want now? Got your ring. Is this your ring? Come to a cool, thing. man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? Not no, yet. but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Samples? Samples of what? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait. You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. You must be joking. Oh, jeez. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Here you go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Max. But we don't have a location for it. It's a charming decanter filled with vile and mysterious liquids. It could be my long-lost twin brother, Sam. It's an empty snow globe without a stopper. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to figure something out here. If they don't have a place for us to go, then I do remember when we were in the ball of twine, we able to, we were able to see a lot of different things. Like we could see the fish place. So that's the case. I'm guessing that if we can figure out how to control that thing, we might be able to get the opportunity to actually see. That car's loud. We might have the opportunity to actually see what is around. So. We'll go ahead and head up to um, the Ball of Twine restaurant and see if we're lucky enough to get uh, figure this one out here. Okay, so we're back up here again. No, there's still no purpose to the wires here. <clears throat> so I think 
I was able to mess with these wires, but I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to put them before. And I'm thinking that what I'm going to be doing here is uh, attaching them to this thing so I can get the controls to work with them. Okay. Just like this. <laughs> Now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. But I'll be able to look around. I have a shock. Uh, maybe not. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. Um... But how do I control the speed? I could be looking right at Frog Rock, but everything's too tiny. Hmm. It's a nifty flashlight equipped with a black light. Well, I need a magnifying glass and or some kind of lens. Apparently none of my stuff's gonna work, so. I'll see you guys back. I've got to use this elevator. I'll see you guys back at the carnival. I'll start there and work my way forward. See if there's something I missed. So I'm back at the carnival, guys. And I'm taking a look around through here. If there's anything that I might have missed. What are they talking about? It's a fishbowl magnifying lens. My head's already shaped like a fishbowl. Ah. Huh. That must be what they want me to take. I'm taking that. That'll work. I'll see you guys back at the Ball of Twine. Alright guys, we're back here at the uh, restaurant on the Twine. Now we've got ourselves a nice big fat lens to use. We can actually take that. Get a really all these old games is harder to find every little detail because some of the stuff just doesn't. It's, this is well painted in a manner that you can't tell what stands out from other stuff. Is what Lucas Okay, for that. I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars. Now, theoretically, I should be able to control this thing. Oh, there it goes. Why, it's the eternal plane of acid rain. Why, it's the eternal plane of acid rain. Okay. So I can stop this thing. It's a rock. It's a rock. I can stop this thing by left and right clicking now. Hmm. The largest stump in the... Hmm. The largest stump in the world. It's a rock. Not the rock I want, though. Mount Badrich. Huh. Hmm. It's a rock. It's the inexplicable valley of lights. Wow. A lot of, uh... Interesting stuff out here. It's a rock. That's the Enchanted Argyle Forest. Where did he say this was? Hmm, it's a rock. And it's between the two things Shavul said it was between. Yes. It must be Frog Rock. Must be. Mark that shit on the map. There we go. Holy crap, that took a little bit. Sorry, guys. I mean, for me, it took a little bit. You guys probably never saw any of this, but uh, after a while, I think I out, can see Frog Rock. After a while of figuring out, after getting that lens, it took a minute to figure out the controls. It was actually the coin return slot that does it, so. Man, I tell you. I've got to use this elevator. Yes, yes. Alright, well. Now we found what we need for that. We're going to go ahead and head to Frog Rock see what we can find out there. We're supposed to go ahead and put um, the hair in the uh, of all these Sasquatches that we've gotten and the um, powder that he gave us for this. So 
we put all that together on the rock, we should be able to, I don't know, find out what happened to all the Bigfoots, hopefully. <laughs> this game does not actually give you a lot of clue to what's going on with some of it. It's kind of hard to follow, actually. Frog Rock. All right. This must be Frog Rock. This doesn't look like a frog at all. No. My innocence has been shattered by this blatant tourist trap. I want my money back. We didn't pay anything. Well, somebody better give me some money. <laughs> pay you to take a look at all this stuff. All right, let's put all of these on here. Yeah, that's one. I can't use these things together. Oh, Max is always in the way, I tell you. Stop being in the way, Max. And one last set of hair. That's gross, Sam. Oh, that one was wet. Alright, now... Take this and put it on there, and that should be it. Well? Wait for it. Oh, there it goes. As they back away. Sure gets dark quickly around here. Right? I don't think this is a natural occurrence, Max. In fact, I think we're witnessing a celestial convergence of some sort. Do you think it'll make that rock look more like a frog? Maybe. <laughs> so the remote people are actually like aliens? Go to Bumpus. This means something, Sam. <laughs> I guess we're going to be going to Bumpusville. Maybe he's kidnapped all of them. Maybe that's what it's all about. Alright. Easy enough. It's amazing how far this car has gotten on one tank of gas. Yes, it is. Bumpusville. He is not that big. It's a Conroy world after all. If we I ever no get joke. this rich and famous, I want you to shoot me, Sam. It'll be a pleasure. This place is mad. It's funny how a lot of stuff you don't have to see. Bumpusville. They like to put a lot of art direction together, but make it so you don't have to worry about much. Let's go check it out. Cripes! Hey Max, take a look at this! It's titled Me, Myself, and I. Hey, you learned how to read. Well, right is always right, so we'll keep on walking this way. Oh, sure. Oh, look at this. Wow! It's Monster Truck Weekend! Happening every Sunday. Sunday! Sunday. Okay, I'm over the shock now. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm sure my gentle naivete will survive. The best never rest. <laughs> I guess. Oh, what's this? He's not my type. He's cleaning me. Weird little robot. <laughs> it's an escalator up to his bed. Man, oh man. It's a pillow. And you, it's got miracle grow hair tonic all over it. Yeah. All the stuff he needs for his stuff. He is wear wigs. Look at that.
It's one of Conroy's toupees. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. What in the name of Jethro Clampett's going on in her? Hey, nothing, nothing. That hurts. Knock it off. He is like Jethro And stay Clampett. out. All right. I'll have to be a little more careful with what we're doing I don't think that here. was the best way to get the toupee, Sam. Hmm. I don't think so either. But, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. It's a little bit short, but we're going to go ahead and focus on figuring out how to do the Bumpus Fill location in the next one. And uh, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Hey fellow agents, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.